Curious about how AI is revolutionizing language learning? The way that we tackle new languages is changing more than ever. You know, whether you're a teacher or teaching students, or you know, you're diving into a new language yourself, AI is opening up so many possibilities. Are you ready to discover the top five trends making waves? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Charlotte. It's good to see you here. If you love the idea of hearing more about AI, e-learning or tech trends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be updated with my weekly content. Okay, let's go. So I've been diving into how AI is changing the game for language learning. You know, you may have seen, I've been using different tools, adapt to conversations. And what I found, I think is just so, so fascinating. Make sure that you stay until the end because all these five trends are equally as important and I've really narrowed these down from loads of different trends because I feel that these are the most important up and coming into 2025 and so on. These trends are already making learning more smarter, more accessible. So the reason for this video is that I came across so many different articles, you know, discussing the rise of AI with language learning. You know, as we look ahead to 2025, the future of language learning, you know, it promises to be more accessible and more personalized. The rise of AI powers learning tools, you know, we've got discussions of VR, AR, gamification, which I discussed in another video about kind of current e-learning trends. So many articles, you know, about the rise of language learning. And, you know, you'll see here, for example, uh, translating information, 47%, translating videos, create content in different languages. Even now on YouTube, you may have seen the new update coming. They're now translating our videos into multiple languages and dubbing our voice to change. Incredible. Even here, young people are using AI. Percentage of 13 to 18 year olds who said they use generative AI to increase in 2023. Now in 2024, we've had a 77% increase. That's for kids learning languages or any kind of literacy topics. You know, in a world that's becoming increasingly interconnected, the ability to learn and communicate in multiple languages is crucial more than ever. You know, it's become a pathway to understanding different cultures, you know, as it says here. And there's so much to look forward to and it's just kind of all over the place. Okay, so now let's dig deeper into the top five trends I've narrowed them down to. Really excited to show you guys. So the first trend, real-time conversation practice with AI. Now, as you know, AI is a constant part. It's basically there 24 seven, and that's something we're not able to ever accommodate at this point, unless you really do have all the resources. Whether you're looking to increase your fluency, you know, build confidence, AI makes it a lot easier to get real-time engagement. And why does it matter? Anytime, anywhere access powerful. We need that access from anytime, anywhere. So, you know, being able to practice whatever you like, no need to schedule lessons or rely on a tutor, get immediate feedback on your grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary, and just stress-free learning. You know, speak freely, test yourself without the pressure, you know, performing to maybe another person. Obviously, some example tools, you're going to know the first one I'm going to mention, GPT. You know, as I mentioned earlier, Three quarters are now our businesses are using GPT or Claude AI, whatever it may be, because it's free to use, it's accessible, and why wouldn't you use it at the end of the day? Because it's there available to us. But it's knowing how to use the tool to your advantage. It's great that you've got access to it, you may know a little bit, but it's actually, you know, what prompts, what to do. There's so many ways to look at it. You know, GPT is really good for instant feedback. However, I feel like it's great for that, but it's missing the kind of structure of curriculum based. So now this is where it leads into trend two, structured AI tutored and curriculum based learning. Really important trend and so important when it comes to structured learning like language learning. Instead of just saying, you know, go to GPT to learn something, you're like, okay, what topic do I use? Like what area, what today? Having like an AI system that allows you to just have that structure there so that you're not having to basically be a teacher for yourself. So why is it so important to have a clear learning roadmap that tells you exactly what to study next? You know, tailored lessons based on your learning style and goals and progress tracking to show how far you've come. You know, being able to have conversations in a structured way, bite-sized lessons, discuss bite-sized learning quite a bit on my channel as well. Being able to be natural, fluent conversations. So it's just having a structure there to learn from basic to more advanced. Every conversation is a building block to the 
next one. A really good example of this is Basu AI. So the great thing about Basu AI is that it has step-by-step -step lessons with personalized vocabulary and speaking practice. So I've used it myself. I really like the fact that, you know, it has that structure in there. So for example, what did you study after finishing school? I studied business management and it will continue the conversation on. You know, let's say you want to have a conversation with someone. It will have already like set, ready, set, made, structured curriculum that you can access with you. So it's basically giving you a topic, responding back and having a real conversation. And it's with a native speaker here. For example, you see in Ecuador, there's somebody there. It's almost like kind of speaking to your friends. I think that really helps having that extra curriculum there through, you know, an AI tool such as Basu AI. Right, if we compare that to ChatGPT, GPT, you need to go to them with some type of idea and they will then get back to you, obviously with a conversation, which is great, but we're kind of missing the element of curriculum based and structure and step-by-step -step of what to do, what next, in your specific level. Of course, if you're using a prompt, you'll get where you need to be, but it's a bit more work to get that. Let's have a look at trend three. AI powered real world immersion with native videos. We're kind of moving away from conversations, we're moving more to videos. That's such a big element when it does come to learning. You know, being able to provide videos with native speakers, I think is so important to really understand the language itself and be in the position of the country. So why is AI so good to that? Because AI can generate videos for you with just, you know, a click. That's the power of it. You know, learn practical phrases that are used in real world situations. Cultural immersion helps you understand slang, etc. that you wouldn't necessarily know from, you know, a normal structured course is tailoring, you know, those specific videos to you. So you'll pick up useful phrases and vocabulary and get more natural feel for your language. A memorize AI is really good for that. I like memorize because, you know, like, for example, you see like many videos on TikTok or Instagram or even on, you know, YouTube reels. You'll see like funny conversations where someone's ordering coffee or trying to teach you some form of a language. On Memorize AI, they do that, but they have it in a structured way. You've got videos, scenarios, of a native speaker there, which is really, really good. So it just allows you to go in one place, pick an area that's structured, show you really cool videos that you see on social media anyway, but in a really structured way. I really like that the fact that it's a native language. I really like the fact that it's a native speaker. And you know, you learn it in a more engaging way and very small bite-sized videos. So important as a learning element. Okay, let's get to trend four. Personalized language learning path. Such a big one when it comes to AI because it's tailoring, you know, all of our learning experiences with AI. Creating learning paths based on your interests, your preferences, your learning speed. So it's great because it can focus on content that interests you, whether for travel, work, hobbies, and you know, it's adaptive lessons that change as you progress. You can learn faster by engaging with material that personally is relevant to you. And as well, it allows you to stay motivated. Why? Because you know, learning becomes more enjoyable because you're always working on topics that spark your interests. Instead of feeling like it's a chore, language learning becomes more exciting and you know part of your daily routine and maximizes your time. So whenever you are doing the learning, it's specifically tailored to you. So you're not browsing through pages and pages looking for different information. It's tailored to you already. So it really does save time. And a great example of this is LingQ. Let's say you're a foodie who's learning French. When you sign up to LingQ, you tell the platform that you're interested in cuisine and you're learning French, it then will create a full path related to food. So that it's something that you enjoy and knows you want to learn. So you're minimizing all the extra time needed. You don't have to browse through it, we'll tailor it for you. So you could be reading articles in French, restaurants, listening to podcasts about cooking tips, watching videos where native speakers discuss French recipes. So not only are you learning the language, you're immersing yourself in the culture, you know, relevant to vocabulary topics that you love. So I feel like if, you know, if you're not able to get access to AI or tailored paths, then you're missing that experience. So now with this trend up and coming, I feel like if people aren't doing this, they're definitely falling behind. Do you know what I mean? People want to save time instead of having to look through, okay, what level am I? Like, okay, I need to go through this pathway myself because AI is not there, but the reality is it is there now so we can use 
use it, you know? Now, what do you think trend number five is? I like trend number five because it was actually really hard for me to narrow these down, but I thought trend number five was definitely important to mention. AI enhanced social learning communities, you know, where you can practice and share tips with others in a community. You'll see that in 2025, AI powered platforms are using more social learning, you know, to be able to have that interactive experience. So it means that you're able to connect with language learners across the world, enabling you to practice, you know, in the target language. So why is this such an impact? You know, being able to grow together with others, you know, you're never alone. And friendly challenges and leaderboards keep things competitive and motivating. You know, I've talked about gamification before, so important as well within the learning trends. If you want to look more into that, then definitely check my video out for that one. What's great about this AI trend is this allows you to be interactive with people. So, you know, when people are saying, oh, I'm not gonna have a conversation with GPT or, you know, a computer, this is still using, you know, AI trends and AI system, but it's allowing you to interact with real people within the culture. So with Tandem AI is a really good example. So it allows you to connect with learners all over the world, you know, with speaking, writing, it matches you people who are studying your target language. So it means that you're able to practice your native language so you have meaningful conversations. So it's linking you with per people that they already know details about, you know, what level they are, what they're doing, what they love. AI does it for you. So you're not having to like go through resources, books, etc. It's all done. So not only is AI linking you to a person that's going to be on the same level as you and you're going to grow together. It also gives you a tailored pathway. So Tandem AI is really, really good for that. And if you don't know about it or want to look more into it, I definitely suggest having a look. Another good example of that is HelloTalk. It's great for language exchanging app. It also connects you with real-time speakers um, and be able to like learn and practice together. So let's recap the five trends we've learned today. Real-time conversation practice with AI. So powerful. Always need to have conversation element. Structured AI. AI tutors and curriculum, real world immersion with you know native videos, personalized language learning paths, and social learning communities. And that those tools that I've discussed today are all through AI. I, I think the first trend is the most common right now, conversational practice using GPT and other tools. But these other four trends I think are also really, really cool that maybe some of us know about, maybe we don't, but definitely something worth exploring at this point. There you have it. AI is making language learning smarter, more accessible to all of us. Whether you're practicing with real world conversations, you know, immersing yourself in native videos, or even, you know, through gamified lessons, the future of language learning is here. So which of these trends are you guys most excited about? And, you know, so as I mentioned earlier, there's so many other trends, micro learning, gamification. So if you do want to go over that, definitely watch this video after this. Um, I'll pop here so that you can have a look and lots more videos for you whether you're a language learner or you know you're a teacher or you know you're in the e-learning industry as well then definitely check out my videos covering that don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do want to be updated with my weekly content thanks guys for watching have fun